Individual dairy cows differ in the amount of feed they ingest to produce the same quantity of milk solids. A $16 million trial at Westpac Taranaki Agricultural Research Station is attempting to find the most efficient converters of feed to protein. The whole idea of this is you can have an analogy. Just look at people. You know some thin people that eat a lot. There's some other more well-covered people that don't seem to eat much at all. It's exactly the same with cattle. Some cows need a lot of feed to make their milk. Other cows need a lot less. We know it's true, but until now it's been really hard to measure that. If you want to look at efficiency, you have to know how much feed is eaten and either how much milk is produced or how much live weight gain has taken place. And our trials have measured live weight gain. The problem is, in a cow, the contents of her stomach, her rumen, can be 20% of her live weight. But some days it might only be 15%, other days 23%. So her live weight for a 500 kilo cow will go up and down by 30 kilos a day. And to measure it accurately takes quite a while. This trial has been going for about five years now. We've screened over a thousand calves, we've measured their efficiency, tissue samples have been taken, sent to America, looked at the DNA. The DNA has been related to the efficiency of the animals and now they've got a genetic marker for the trait. And that means that we can go and take blood samples from cows and identify the ones that need less feed or more feed for the same amount of production. What we've found is pretty amazing. The difference in feed requirements for the same breeding worth, the same live weight, the same live weight gain was over 20% between the most efficient and the least efficient group. We've got 28 pens here capable of holding eight calves at a time, so we can have 224 calves in at a time. With the cows, when we have the cows in, we take the gates out and we have up to 13 cows in feeding out of the seven bins in each row. All the animals have an electronic ear tag, so when they put their head into the feed bin, there's a reader immediately above the bin that records which animal is there. It averages out of one reading every second for each feed bin. So we constantly get the information about the intake for individual calves. We need to be able to measure their intakes accurately, and we can't do that with pasture. So that's why we've gone to the Lucerne cubes. We put them in the bins and we can consistently get weight. We can also look at their animal behaviour. Are there any differences in the behaviour, say, of the more efficient calves versus the least efficient calves? With the calves, we weigh them three times a week. What we're interested in is the live weight gain between the period when they started and when they finished. And we need to get as many data points between those two days as we possibly can. So we weigh them three times a week. With the lactating cows, we also have milk production as well. We selected the most efficient and least efficient calves and kept them and brought them through as lactating animals and put them in the pens as two-year-old animals. The calves that were the most efficient were still the most efficient as lactating animals, though there was a reduced uh, difference in my, uh, requirement for that efficiency, but they were still the most efficient. We think this information will be taken up quite quickly because LIC, for example, can incorporate that into their selection criteria. And so you'll be able to ask for whatever you want, whatever breed, some production indices. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.